Alright, now that we've started using Photoshop, we're going to go on to our second project, which is called the Forest of Trees project. Now you'll find that some of the jobs that you do in this project will be repeat from what you already did with the negative tree project, but that's okay. We're expanding and building on your existing knowledge. So let's go ahead and open up the Forest of Trees file, and we're going to see this beautiful cartoon looking tree. We're going to make a forest out of this one tree by learning how to copy and paste correctly. Now first thing we want to do is we want to take this into the full size of the screen so if you drag the top and go up you'll see it highlights in blue so if I let go it will take up the whole screen. If you put the full screen like this it takes up and hides all your tools so we don't want to hide our tools. Remember, of course, that zooming in and out on our scroll wheel we can do still. So, first thing we're going to do is a repeat of what we did last project, like I said. So we go Image, and we're going to go Resize, and we are going to make a bigger canvas size. And we're going to make it 12 wide by 6 high. Notice that the size of the picture is changing. That's the size in megabytes and we'll zoom back a little so you can see we have plenty of room to copy paste our trees but you'll notice that the background of our original image was not transparent it was white we can see the new transparent space around that white image but we're gonna have to do something about that white space so let's go to the layers palette now before I gave you the layers but here you're going to make the layers yourself so if you go down to the bottom here put your mouse over top and it says create a new layer so let's click on that so that's the new layer and we are going to now select our white space so if we use the magic wand tool which is W I'm gonna click here and it should select all the white space you'll notice that it actually didn't select all the white space can you think of why look at the layers palette for a clue you'll see that layer 2 is actually highlighted not layer 1 let's go to layer 1 we'll click on layer 1 and I have the magic wand W and click on the white space now I have the white space highlighted so I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard and now all of my space is transparent one thing we should probably do is go to our layer and just make this a background layer so if I double click on layer 2 the words become highlighted. I'm going to type background, hit enter, and now I'm actually going to drag that to the bottom, and that will be our background. Now I need to be on layer one. If I select the tree, you'll notice that I can't select the whole thing. Now I could hold down shift, and I'm going to hold down shift, and I'm going to start clicking and I get most of the tree here but that's taking too long and I have to zoom in and that's that's just too much work so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to select the opposite of what I want so I'm gonna click in the white space the transparent space now I have a special menu we call it the context menu so I'm gonna right mouse click and it says select inverse this means select the opposite. So I'm going to select that, and now I have my tree. Now, I've intentionally made a mistake here. You'll notice that I did not delete this white space in the tree. It doesn't look like I've made a mistake from here, and if I start doing the project, everything will look fine. But if we get all the way to the end and we make a background, you're going to see it looks kind of like this. Let me open this one. There we go. So you can see that that white space actually does show up quite clearly when we put a background behind it. So before we go any further, let's zoom in and delete that white space. Again, magic wand tool, W, select, and hit delete on my keyboard. Do you remember how we did that? How did we select the tree? You do it now. alright we're ready to copy paste the tree Now remember doing things on our keyboard is faster usually than using our mouse so these are standard ways of copying and pasting with the keyboard 
control C and then control V. You'll notice nothing happened at the actual tree. And I'll paste again. Watch the layers palette when I hit paste. There, now I have four trees, and it actually has moved a little bit here. So, we have four trees, and each tree creates a new layer. Now we need to use the object selection tool, or the move tool, which is the letter V. And now we're just going to move our trees around. I'll zoom back a bit here. So, I'll make a little forest. There we go. Now we can resize our trees to make it look a little bit more authentic or more creative. So let me paste one more. So I'm going to move some up. So I can rotate this one a little bit. Notice I can rotate and resize by grabbing the corners. Actually, if something's in the background, it would be smaller. So I'm going to make that a bit smaller. It looks further away now and you'll see that I have the check mark in the red circle so when I'm happy with it I can hit the check mark now if I didn't like that I can hit control Z but it comes right back to where it was so I can also flip do you remember how to flip the layer I want this one to curve to the left instead of the right this is what we just did in our last project is it horizontal or is it vertical there we go so now we have a little bit of creativity happening here can make this a bit bigger because it's kind of up close there we go let's check it off and let's make this one really big we're gonna stick this oh it kinda looks we call it pixelated maybe a little too big let's make it smaller there we go so you get the idea you go around and you adjust your trees now we can also adjust the colors so if we go to enhance and we can go adjust color and the one that I want to select is color variations so I'm gonna make this tree maybe a little darker let's just darken it up a little there we go and let's hit OK see that gives it a bit of shadow uh, this background one let's make that a bit greener maybe just color color variations where's green let's try what that looks like mm, kinda looks like a stick of broccoli maybe I'll increase the red a little bit and a bit more green. Nope, too much. Decrease. There we go. Let's go with that. And we can go through and do this, and you could be really wacky if you want to. Just give things a try. Be creative. So basically, this is the forest of trees. My forest is more or less complete, except for the background. And let's do that. So, our background. We need to have a color in the background. So the simplest way to do that is the paint bucket tool, which is K. So I can either hit K or click on my toolbar. And the color that's going to go in the background is right here on the left side of the screen. It says set foreground color. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to select something maybe a little maybe a little yellowy. Orange. There we go. Okay. Kind of looks like the ground. But now I want to make a sky. So what I need to do is I need to do this on the background layer. Now you'll notice I made a mistake. This is on layer one. So let's control Z, click on our background layer, and make a color that is coloring the entire background. That way, if I want to move the trees around later, I still can and it won't affect the background. If I did that on layer one and colored the background, you'll see that if I try to move the tree, it'll start to affect it, the whole picture. So I have to be careful to use my layers effectively. So let's put that back on the background. If you want to do a sky, what we need to do is let's hide all of our layers. Now they haven't been deleted, they're just hiding. So we unclick to the I button. We need to use the m marquee tool. We can make squares and we can make circles. So right now we want to make squares. We're going to start off our picture and we'll find about halfway. Let go. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to get a bit fancy. We're going to use a gradient tool right here. And I want to make it look like it's a bit of a blue sky that's changing colors. So what I can do here, see it's selected on foreground to background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the foreground color to some kind of blue. So let's pick blue. Okay 
and then my background color kind of a a lighter blue there we go now what I do is I click and hold and I'm gonna draw a line and this is going to be on the right is gonna be my foreground on the left is gonna be my background so see it kind of does a gradient and I can adjust this by changing the diagonal and go vertical you could do whatever you want that's kinda of cool I think I'm gonna leave that you could play with it you could do all sorts of neat things the length of your line and the direction of your line will make a difference in how your gradient will appear now that looks silly there we go we'll leave it with this and that's all there is to it put our le our eyes back on and if I want to to show off my background a bit more oops control Z remember to be on the correct layer I need to be on the top layer and I need to get rid of my marquee tool so I click on the marquee tool again click off so V for move tool and you'll see layer 2 is now highlighted I'm gonna move you a little bit and that's it thanks for watching have fun and we'll see you in our next project which will be the magical tree